hey guys welcome to this new video and in this video i'll be checking out power bi and sql questions asked in deloitte and uh, i will uh, be giving you this uh, pdf free uh, if you watch the video till end and i will tell you how you can download this pdf if you haven't subscribed to my uh, youtube channel you can subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be created videos on how you can get hired in capgemini what are the questions asked in capgemini excel accenture epam wall second so all of these you can find uh, the videos here the sql and the power bi question so if you are preparing uh, in the power bi domain or in the sql domain so these questions will help you to crack the interview with these okay uh, so i have also created a playlist so you can go through all the all the playlist here the power bi interview question and sql interview question so that you can easily crack your interview okay so let's get started so first question they have asked is what are the challenges in power bi dashboards and reports you have encountered so you can tell that we have encountered the slow performance when refreshing a large data set okay and what are the solution for that what you have done for that so you have to tell that uh, we have done some changes in the data modeling so we have optimized the data model by reducing the number of columns and created a star schema instead of a snowflake schema as you know that star schema is fast okay uh, the second is aggregation so we have pre-aggregate pre the data in the source or use power bi aggregations for faster reporting so we we have to create some pre-aggregated columns uh, in the source system so that we can directly use it here okay uh, or we can do the dex optimization so we can replace the complex dex with simpler one or we can uh, use uh, the measures rather than the calculated columns okay the fourth one you can do is query reduction so you can disable the auto data time and reduce the number of visuals or the filters if they are not needed so first they will ask you what are the challenges and then you have to answer them in the form of the solution and the use case okay so for example you can tell that you have a sales date dashboard handling millions of record instead of showing granular transactional level data uh, what you can do is you can pre-aggregate the sales data by month in the source use summarized data in power bi and refresh only recent data rather than the entire data set okay so i will be giving you this uh, pdf also if you watch the video till end i will be giving you free uh, pdf so you can download it and you can also read these answers before going to an interview what's the difference between kpi versus dimension so this is very common question because they want to uh, get an understanding uh, like what's the difference between the kpi and the dimensions uh, in your tables okay so kpis is like key performance indicators a kpi is a measurable values okay and uh, that indicate how well an objective is being achieved example include revenue profit margin or customer rate okay whereas uh, the dimension is like we are providing a context for analyzing the kpis okay so it's like a qualitative data this one is quantitative data such as time region product category and customer segment comes into dimension so when we say uh, example of a sales dashboard what will be the kpis kpis can be a total sales year over year growth all these are kpis you can show in the dashboard whereas dimension are regions and time okay the third question they have asked is very uh, frequently asked questions sql query to find the third highest salary okay so we will select the salary from select e salary comma we will use the row number here so row number as you all know is a windows function and uh, you you will row uh, you will get the uh, ranking in the descending over if you use this one okay so row number over order by e salary descending as a rank and uh, from employees as rank salary and then we will use rank equal to three to find the third is salary so we use the row number to rank salaries in descending order then select the row where the rank is three the fourth question is like sql procedure to select uh, employee ids where salary is less than fifty thousand. so they have asked to write the procedure so you should know how to write the procedure so it's like very basic like create procedure procedure name we have given the procedure name as get employee below salary and then we have 
initialize our uh, at the rate uh, salaries are variable so we have initialized that with the int data type int data type as begin uh, so these are all the keywords we have to write when we are declaring the way uh, when we are like writing the procedure so begin select eid this is the common sql query select eid from employee where e salary is greater than at the rate salary okay and when we are executing it we will uh, execute exec is like an uh, state uh, like a statement you have to give exec uh, then get employee below salary and then you pass the uh, value to it okay so when you execute it the 50000 will be here and uh, uh, the query will run from here to here okay the fifth question is retrieve eids with odd salaries and join with employee details okay so how you can find the odd salaries they want to know so you can find the odd salary using divide by 2 and when we do uh, the salary divide by 2 and if it's give the one then it's like a odd salary okay so it's like a simple query select e comma eid comma date of date of birth from employee join on employee details uh, where i e employee id equal to employee id where e dot e salary is divided by so it's like a self join we are doing on the same table and then we are checking uh, wherever we got uh, this uh, condition true then it will give us the result okay then they ask like uh, why we use the lag so you have to give the example like of uh, why we have used lag so lag will give you uh, the previous row okay so select eid e salary so we we are using lag for week over week comparison so lag will give you uh, e salary over partition by as previous week salary so it will give you previous row and e salary minus uh, this will give you week over week comparison so it, this salary minus previous salary as week change from employee salary so lag retrieve the salary from the previous week for comparison this help analyze our week over week so in windows function you have to uh, read about the lag and lead function so these all uh, these all lag lead row number all these are important function and you should know these concepts before going to an interview okay write a dex measure for year over year growth so year over growth uh, we, we will use divide functionality where total sales we, we uh, is the columns with the total sales and we use calculate of total sales minus same period last year we are using here so basically they uh, they want to know that if you know what would what will be the result of same period last year so uh, the measure compares the current sales with the sales from the same period last year using uh, this keyword called same period last year this dex function you should know what it do so it basically retrieve uh, uh, the sales from the last year okay what are the unique charts you have used uh, so you can tell about the decomposition tree so in decomposition tree allow users to break down a kpi so for example uh, you can break down the total sales uh, into contributing factors like regions products or salesperson quarter month region and user can also drill down so users can drill down based based on the click button and they can see the hierarchies and the impact of each category so for example here uh, so for example total sales revenue uh, depends on how much revenue we are getting uh, based on the salesperson based on the quarterly and in quarter how how many uh, which month uh, basically so in quarter one uh, february march january what all are the revenues we are getting uh, from which regions we are getting from which products we are getting and how much quantities we have sold so all these sales performance analysis we can do through the decomposition tree so you have to tell that uh, uh, about the decomposition tree in the unique chart you can also tell uh, about the different charts like uh, heat map or um, basically uh, all the other charts which are there in the power bi uh, but for the giving example you can also tell decomposition tree if you are using in your project okay 
so based on your project give some example okay i am just giving you the example based on my understanding you can also implement it or give the answer based on your understanding the ninth question is implementing time intelligence how you implement the time intelligence functions in your reports in your power bi reports so we have calculated the source total sales year to date uh, with the help of dates ytd so this is the time intelligence dex function so if you have to create the year to date uh, total sales then you have to use the dates ytd okay what's the difference between a database and a data mart okay so data uh, so what is a database so database purpose is like it will store the raw transactional data used for day to day operation okay uh, the structure of database is highly normalized to reduce redundancy so basically it's like many table okay data type can be detailed real time or near to real time data such as sales transaction or customer records use case is like we use database by applications uh, for the applications like erp systems crm systems for operational purposes okay uh, so basically users are operational users like clerks or application users like us okay so all this is like database where is data mart uh, we store the summarized subject specific data for analytical and reporting purpose we have created different data marts for our reporting and we have stored the summarized and subject specific data structure is highly denormalized because we have fewer tables star schema okay data type is like aggregated data focused on a specific business like sales marketing or finance so for example if you have a uh, if you have a whole uh, organization and you want to divide into different uh, region uh, like different uh, for for different reporting teams you want to divide it your database so you will create the data mass like uh, sales marketing or finance use case is used to generate the reports and dashboard for report decision making and users are bas basically a decision maker or a business analyst okay so these are all the components of uh, like uh, data mart uh, and uh, so guys if you have any question just drop in uh, the comments below i will try to answer in the next video also you can follow me on linkedin also you can subscribe to my youtube channel and share this channel so that people can crack their interviews with these okay and you can uh, download this free interview question pdf uh, on my top mate so i will also give you uh, the link of this top mate in the description of uh, this video so if you want to follow me on linkedin you can uh, follow me and ask the questions there as well i am uh, i have a open profile so you can directly message me okay so have a good day and keep shining keep rising uh, keep chanting and all the best for your next interview thank you guys